Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing well. So today I wanted to go through my nighttime skincare routine, but first please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button and also like. So as you can see, I have a full face of makeup on. I did record this makeup look, but then ended up not being able to edit it because I was out of focus, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. And back to the makeup removal. So first I'm going to go in with my Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. Um, I usually apply this with my cotton pads. So the trick is basically to hold it over your makeup or your eye, wherever you want to use it. And just hold it just for a few seconds longer and just go slowly. So the micellar water has enough time to dissolve the makeup. So this micellar water doesn't really need much introduction because it is very, very popular. A lot of people rave about it. Um, ever since this video, I've actually gone on to the other one, the one with the oil. Um, I think it's blue, so it's like a blue oil. But yeah, it's exactly the same. The only thing is it has oil mixed in, so it just makes it even easier. But this particular micellar water is just good. Anyway, it's just as effective. The only thing is with the oil. I think with heavier makeup, that might be better. So as you can see, I'm taking my time removing the eye makeup from my lashes and just make sure that the mascara especially is uh, completely removed. Normally I would remove this with my um, cleansing balm or like an oil makeup, oil based makeup remover but it's just a lot easier just to use the micellar water, it's a lot faster as well and then it makes the rest of my makeup easy to remove and because this is heavy makeup as well I don't really want the residue of the green eyeshadow on my, um, I don't really want it on my makeup cloth so I'd rather have it just on a cotton pad that I can throw away. So I've just gone over my eye and my lips with the same cotton pad. So next it's time to move on to my cleansing balm. So I made this in the previous DIY video if you want to check that out and see how I created it. So I'm just going to take about a fingertip size amount, um, clean fingers as well. So you're just going to make sure that your hands are clean before you dip it in because obviously if you're going to be dipping into the container all the time you need to make sure your hands are clean for makeup. So I'm just going to dip a fingertip size amount onto my face and smooth it all over. As you can see the balm is melting really easily into my face. So at this point you just want to make sure that you rub the balm in really really well. So I have heard of this um, new thing called the 60 second cleanse by your neighborhood esthetician. So she's a YouTuber here, she's actually an esthetician. So she does um, advise that you rub in your cleanser, your oil, whatever it is. For at least 60 seconds to give it enough time to break down like makeup and dirt and grime and all that and it is a really really effective way of removing makeup but um, as you can see i am actually taking my time to rub in the cleansing balm so i am actually probably doing it without knowing but at the time i didn't know about the 60 second cleanse but i did actually end up doing that i think more or less but yeah so you just want to make sure you rub in the balm or any cleanser that you want to use as well as possible just to give it enough time to work into your skin so next i'm going to use my pink flannel cloth so this is one of those magic makeup remover cloths and that's what i normally use to remove any cleanser from my face i, I prefer that to washing my face or splashing water on my face because it's just less messy that way i don't get um you know makeup and dirt and everything else all over my sink even with this method it still gets a little bit messy but it's a bit more controlled and i prefer that so at the end of my makeup removal process that's when i splash water over my face but before that i just use the cloth so this cloth is one of those makeup you know removing cloths like i said but it definitely makes my life a lot easier so it's not like a normal cloth cleanser because it's made out of microfiber so it makes it easier to attract dirt and makeup so on its own it's actually good but I do find that it tugs onto my skin a little bit so I still use it with the cleanser even though you're not really supposed to so I'm just going in for the second time with the same cloth to remove any residue of oil from the cleansing balm just making sure that I work it into my skin before I move on to the next stage 
so i just wanted to quickly add if you do have dry skin this stage is probably enough for you because this does leave you with a bit of a um kind of like an oily not oily like a more moisturized softer feel but if you have oily skin like myself you probably want to go in with another cleanser so that is my t-zone charcoal and bamboo ultra purifying face wash so it's like a cleanser with a bit of charcoal in it you really are supposed to shake it but i don't normally remember so it's just like a gel wash with some charcoal in it which is meant to attract dirt and grime and just bind and pull it out of your skin it's basically supposed to pull out all impurities and dirt but i don't necessarily think there is enough charcoal in that face wash but um it is a good face wash anyway with or without charcoal so i'm just going in again with my pink magic makeup removing cloth and just wiping that away with some water so this is like i said um so this is a method of double cleansing so you have to go in with one type of cleanser first and then go in with another usually the first type is an oil and then you clean up the residue of that oil with a gel or a foaming type of cleanser afterwards so now my face is feeling quite clean and soft and slightly firmer okay so next i'm gonna go in with my clean and clear deep cleansing lotion so it's more like a toner for oily skin and i think it contains salicylic acid in it so it just helps to dissolve any last traces of oil or dirt or anything that might be clogging up my pores that's not necessarily at the surface so i usually just pour some on my cotton pad and then just smooth it over my face avoiding my eyes it is for sensitive skin and i do attest to that because it doesn't really stink unless i have like an active acne mark next i'm going in with my super drug be refreshed essence lotion so like i said it's just like an essence lotion that you just pat onto your skin it's a really affordable option if you're looking for one and it's probably the most affordable essence I have found at the drugstore so as you can see I'm just patting it into my skin and then I rub the residue all over the rest of my face so next I'm gonna go in with a new favorite of mine and that is the Natura Estonica Sephora Japonica Hydrating Boost Face Tonic my gosh that is a tongue twister so it's normal to dry skin and it has some great ingredients it has hyaluronic acid vitamin C silk amino acids it has 94.9% .9 natural origin products no parabens no mineral oils no shirts no shoes and all of that it is really really good and it smells amazing and it's £2.49 at TK Maxx love it so I just packed that tonic into my skin and wait for it to absorb so next I'm going in with my hyaluronic acid serum so it's just a big tub of hyaluronic acid like it says and it's from one of the Decium brands called the chemistry brand and it's such a good value tub of hyaluronic acid you can use it all over your body so I tend to mix this hyaluronic acid into every one of the skincare products that I normally use just like the one I've just shown you here which is the MD selections glycolic acid serum so sometimes i will mix this into my essence lotion sometimes i'll mix it in with the tonic sometimes i'll mix it in with the glycolic acid it really just depends on how much time i do have so in this video i did want to show you um how each product absorbed into my skin individually but on a real night i will just skip a few steps and mix two or three things together that i know work well and then just you know rub it onto my face because it just saves me more time than having to apply each product individually but on this particular night i did have extra time on my hands and i just wanted to take my time and pamper myself and pamper my skin So next I'm going in with my Alpha Arbutin Serum by The Ordinary and it has 2% Alpha Arbutin and it's meant to be a really effective um, ingredient for lightening acne scars, hyperpigmentation, melasma, things like that. It is supposed to be really good. Um, I haven't really noticed its effectiveness yet, maybe slightly, but it isn't like the fastest working um active ingredient that i know of i think my vitamin c might be more effective than this so i'm a bit on the fence about it but it is good and i know it has really really great reviews so i think i will stick with it and see how it goes but yeah this is my first um my first jar shall i say my first container of serum so i don't know but i do like it so next i'm going in with the 100 um plant hemis 
hemi oh my gosh <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it's called it's called the hemi squalane and it is the cheapest serum that they do have i know that it's two pound fifty i did get it in a beauty bay haul which i know is coming up soon i just hope i have time to film it to edit it rather but yeah so it is two pound fifty and it's more like an oily consistency but then it just absorbs into your skin and leaves your skin feeling plump and it's great for people with oily skin as well so it absorbs in really really well Next, I'm going in with my Resveratrol and Ferulic Acid Serum by The Ordinary as well. I have a lot of products from The Ordinary, can you tell? So I apply about two or three drops of this, same as the Hemi Squalane. And Ferulic Acid works really well with Vitamin C. Uh, so that's the Vitamin C suspension, 30% in silicone because it's, I think I prefer this than the first silicone, um, than the first Vitamin C serum that they did and that was the one that was a bit gritty. So I, so as you can see, I'm mixing in the Ferulic Acid, the Vitamin C and my Super Drugs Vitamin E or um, like vitamin E moisturizer and that's the night version so all three things are mixed together one because the ferulic acid works really well with the vitamin C and then you can also dilute both things further by mixing it in with your um, moisturizer so I just thought I'd skip a few steps mix it all in together and then apply it to my face um, yeah so it depends on how much time you have and what you want to do but yeah I just prefer to mix those three things together like I said ferulic acid definitely makes vitamin C a more potent antioxidant and antioxidants are one of those things that help scavenge for free radicals which are responsible for breaking down cells and um, aging yeah, yeah you don't really want any of that basically so you really want to get on the vitamin C bandwagon and get you some ferulic acid as well mix the two together and get yourself some collagen infused plumpy plumpy looking skin So next I'm going in with my Infin Infinatura Cura Oil and it's basically a blended oil mix for skin, hair and it says well-being. So it has a mix of sunflower seed oil, carmelia seed oil, um, cramp abyssinica seed oil, argan oil, mandarin oil, bergamot oil, geranium oil. It just smells amazing and yeah it's just an amazing um, pre-mixed oil treatment thingamajig I did see this on Amazon for like 20 pounds or so but I picked it up in a sample sale for like I don't know two or three pounds so I'm really glad I did you get a ton of products in here you get 100 ml which is 3.3 fluid ounces for my American viewers so I just love the way this oil smells and it absorbs really well into the skin not immediately but within a few you know minutes so next I'm going to go in with my ordinary caffeine solution and this is the treatment for your under eyes. It depuffs your under eyes if you have puffy under eyes and it also lightens um, darkness as well. So if you have dark under eye circles, this does help a lot. Um, I know some people probably, you know, well, it depends on your skin and what you need on how dark your under eye circles are. Um, so I know some people may not have had you know glowing reviews for this but i think majority of people do so um, it depends on how long you want to wait for it to work and how bad your situation is under your eyes but as you can see i'm actually putting it on my acne scarring as well because i figured well if it's there to brighten up your under eyes from darkness it should definitely be able to help with acne scars and yeah i haven't seen any um adverse reactions to that so i've just been adding it is to you know to my acne scars just to see if it will help lighten up a bit that particular scar you see above my lip is a waxing um scar so yeah it has been the bane of my existence for the longest time and it is finally finally going but yeah it is really really prominent and i'm just quite conscious of it as well especially when i'm barefaced like that 
so yeah I just apply all of that all over my face and then after that I go in with my ordinary salicylic acid 2% solution and this is more targeted so I don't apply this all over my face and um, you really shouldn't because it is salicylic acid you just want to apply it as a spot treatment for those areas where you know you constantly get spots or you've got a spot there and you're already um, and you want it to dry up basically it is really really effective it's one of the best um, active treatments I have for active acne or like pimples things like that so if you have like a really angry spot and you just want to take it down a notch um, you can definitely use this solution I find that it really helps especially with the um, acne that I do get around my jawline which I know should probably be hormonal acne this definitely helps to either take it down a notch or just completely dry it over a couple of days and then lastly I'll go in with my uh, witch hazel blemish gel and that's just like a extra insurance on the same spot so where I've applied the salicylic acid serum I apply the witch um, witch hazel gel as well just to have like two ingredients working together synergistically to take down my spots and dry them out so witch hazel is really good for spots and acne prone skin and so is salicylic acid so I figured hey might as well kill two birds with one stone or at least kill the same bird with two stones <laughs> and just make sure that it is um, you know the situation is really under control so that's what I am doing right now because I do have quite um, a few active acne um, spots all over my face so next I'm going in with my simple eye cream and it's just a really refreshing eye cream it is different from the caffeine solution from the ordinary in that it is an eye cream that's a bit um, lighter in texture and it's more moisturizing than the caffeine solution so the caffeine solution can be a bit dry and so it depends on your under eye situation but I feel like sometimes I want to go in with a uh, an, an eye cream just to make sure that the area is moisturized as well as having the ingredient that's brightening up my under eyes i also want to make sure that it's hydrated and that's what this moisturizer does it is really good it's a really good eye cream so i'm just smoothing over my under eyes with my ring finger just to make sure i don't apply too much pressure to that area and just working in that eye cream in the last residue of the caffeine solution and that is it that is my nighttime skincare routine like i said some products i do swap in and out but that is everything i use hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment and like and please do share until next time i'll see you in my next video stay blessed bye